2012 is seen as very dramatic in prophecies, but there is no need for it to be, and it certainly won't be, if enough of the major light workers understand this. The, there is the point, we have left physical reality for soul reality, for ascended reality, back to physical reality. We've done it many times. There have been boxes within boxes within boxes. And every time we've tried to solve this through perception alone, we've simply found ourselves in another box. But the box that we have been in, which is a much bigger box than where we were, say, in 2005, is getting ready to shift at a 90 degree angle, assuming that it were to go forward and bump itself into the wall of the other reality, which is a 90 degree angle, like running into the corner of a box. And it is that trauma that bumps something back and forth into other levels of existence. Physical life is getting ready to bump into soul level life. And, and so we've, we're running into a feeling of tremendous pressure on earth where many previous traumas have been kept because 2012 is not a date, it is an occurrence. And it has happened time and time again, over and over again. For instance, the Great Depression, and just at the point where World War II took place, is one such event where trauma produced such a shift that we shifted out of one reality into another. Okay, the memory of war, the memory of the total devastating scarcity that, the, that was global, all of this is sitting around us right now. It is only because of the work, of self-work, of finding their joy, of refusing the reality of scarcity and embracing abundant life as a new concept, not just how much money you have, that we have not gone into these big, big ghosts of the past that are hanging in the air. But we've had to bump into them, create great emotion, which shifts the direction so we move from one reality into the other. That's where we are right now. Um, in my own work, students have commented that they see something cyclical happening because they know that when I write books and bring in these tools of yoga and healing methods and so on, that I don't remember what I wrote. So they notice when I write the same thing several years later and they know that in all likelihood I would have forgotten it, so they've been commenting on it. We, we are indeed cyclical, but where we are is producing tools to overcome rather than go through the, the ghosts of the past. The ghosts of the past are merely there because the trauma happens so fast that it didn't give anyone the chance to get the perceptions. The perceptions coupled with the change in emotion so that the heart song is restored to a harmonious song, this creates the overcoming of it and graceful transitions. But there is now the possibility to actually say no to the old matrices and step free and dance the eternal dance.